This video will demonstrate how to install the control software for your iAuto on a Mac. Before starting the installation, please ensure that the machine's power and data cables are correctly connected and that the machine's power is turned on. First, open the Unitech official website and go to the Download Software slash User Manual section. On the Downloads page, locate the section for iAuto Part 2 and enter the User Guide and Software Download page. Navigate to the iAuto Mac Software folder and download the three highlighted files shown in the diagram. After the files are downloaded, open the Rosetta 2 installation guide first. Press CMD and space button to bring up Spotlight Search, type in Terminal, and press Enter to open it. Copy the command provided in the Rosetta 2 installation guide, paste it into the terminal, and press Enter to execute it. The terminal will ask you to type in A and press Enter to confirm, just follow the instructions. Double-click the Una Cat PKG file to start the software installation. The system will alert you that the application cannot be opened. Don't worry, just click OK. Open System Settings, go to Privacy and Security, and in the Security section, you'll see a message that the Una underscore Cat PKG file was blocked. Simply click Open Anyway. The system will prompt you to enter your password to confirm. After that, the system will install the UUNA software, just follow the on-screen instructions. Once the software installation is complete, open the Mac install manual text document and the terminal. Copy the command mentioned in step 2 of the Mac install manual, make sure not to copy the brackets. Paste the command into the terminal and press enter. The terminal will ask you to enter your Mac's password to authorize the operation. Do so, but note that the password will not be displayed as you type. This command is crucial. If you don't execute it, you will not be able to successfully open the Unitec software or use its important features. Once done, launch the Unitec software. After it opens, it will automatically search for and connect to the machine. In the login pop-up that appears, enter your account and password. You can check the Remember Username and Password box for easier login next time. Next, in table mode, go to Add Area on the left and then click Characters to perform a simple test. In the text editor box that appears, make some simple adjustments to the preset text, then click Add to add the text box to the panel. You can click the red cross icon at the top right corner of the text box to move it to the correct position. You can scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the page for a better view of the text. Additionally, you can also click the bottom right corner of the text box to resize it. At the top of the control panel, you can adjust the text font, size, letter spacing, and various formatting options as needed. Once all editing is complete, click the current button in the writing control area on the right to create a G-code file for the current document. After the file is created, click the right icon below to start the machine writing for you. You can observe the writing time and progress at the bottom right corner.